Ichthyostega also possessed a number of primitive features. Its notochord was still continuous through the body and was the major axial support. Uh, there were separate vertebral elements which had not yet fused to form the more typical tetrapod vertebrae. There was a lateral line system of the skull. Some of the opercular bones were still retained, uh, suggesting the presence of internal gills. There was a primitive hip socket, and there were openings or foramina in uh, the hip bones, which would later be lost. The tail possessed dermal uh, rods, uh, which uh, were adapted it for locomotion in uh, the water, and there were seven digits on its limbs. These were primitive uh, features of ichthyostega, which uh, would be lost in more advanced tetrapods. In many ways, Ichthyostega was a more advanced amphibian than Acanthostega. The notochord no longer penetrated the skull because of solidification of the occipital area. Uh, Ichthyostega possessed a sacrum, a uh, specialized vertebrae in the lower back which attached to the hip, thus allowing the leg to support the body's weight on land. Ichthyostega is the most primitive uh, tetrapod known to have had three hip bones, the ilium, the ischium, and pubis, which would be the standard hip bones for all later tetrapods. There was greater articulation between vertebral elements. Uh, a number of skull bones had uh, been lost, such as the tectal bone. Uh, greater movement of the neck was allowed because of the uh, loss of the entrance of the notochord. Uh, there was a true ankle joint. Uh, there was an olecranon process uh, forming uh, an elbow. The ribs were longer and stouter. And so ichthyostega was a more advanced tetrapod than acanthostega for many reasons.